if you could have had the choice to be born without cystic fibrosis, if somebody could say, hey, Amika, you would be you, but you just wouldn't have this disease, how would you answer that? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, again, you know, so uh, I am who I am, and I can't really change that, and that is what has brought me to where I am. So would I want to change it? This is Amichai. He's 17 years old and has cystic fibrosis. Like every other teen, he hangs out with his friends, plays computer games, and does his homework. Except he has to go to the hospital every month and do treatments at home so he can breathe. Most of my friends don't have cystic fibrosis. Quite often I need to uh, explain to them what, uh, what it means. I'm not like all you guys. Uh, I need to do things a bit different. Cystic fibrosis is a hereditary disease that affects the lungs and digestive system, producing thick mucus that can clog the lungs and obstruct the pancreas. There is no cure for the life-shortening disease, and it affects 70,000 people around the world. Down here, you're going to have all the meals that I prepared for the week. I take a Thursday and I, uh, you know, make all my meals um, in advance. I enjoy cooking a bit. Uh, yeah, so. This is basically my floor. Ladies, this is the only 17-year-old that you know who cooks for himself. He can cook for you, <laughs> right? Cystic fibrosis takes a lot of time. Um, well, the only reason why I get up at 5 o'clock to do a training is because I need to do my uh, treatments. And such a treatment is about twice a day. So all together, it's at least three hours of just maintaining what you got. Cystic fibrosis it is genetic, which means there's now medical technology that can prevent babies from being born with it in the first place. Thing is, Amichai was the firstborn child in his family, and when he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis at seven months, his parents had no idea what the disease even was. After we had Amichai, we learned that each and every child that we would have has a 25% chance of having cystic fibrosis. Correct. Yeah, that's a very high percentage. Yes. We didn't we didn't do genetic testing. I'm just stupid basically, but that would have made our lives more complicated cuz okay, so then we would have known we both had the gene for CF. So what? So we're not going to get married. In the past, couples who were predisposed to having children with genetic diseases may not have pursued a future together. But today, there's a way to avoid having ill children. Women can go through the process of in vitro fertilization, or IVF, which allows doctors to harvest their eggs, fertilize them, and then implant them. But before implementation, the embryos can be scanned for genetic disease so that only the healthy ones are actually selected. The method is called pre-implementation genetic diagnosis, or PGD, and much of the medical community raves about its potential to impact the future of the world. If, if people with, who are carriers of genetic diseases will go through IVF and will have healthy kids, then of course it's cost effective for the country because the, the national insurance will not have to, to grow very ill, very sick children. And that's the best preventive medicine. Today, about 30% of the people who choose to go through IVF here in Israel do it specifically because they need to undergo PGD so that they can ensure that they'll become pregnant with babies that don't have a genetic disease. Over 30% of these individuals are Orthodox Jews who must first get permission from their rabbis to go through with the process. But many ethical questions arise. Do humans have the right to determine who should be born and who shouldn't? Judaism is not against playing God. We were created by God image and we should improve this world. Maybe all the rabbis will say that if you want to eliminate genetic disease, you are permitted to use this PGD in order to bring healthy children to the world. There is place in this earth to every kind of person that there is sick or not is gene diseases or not. But that doesn't say that we shouldn't try to make this world better and healthier and happier. Right so, now we're going to the hospital because you have to do this tre yeah. treatment mm -hmm. once a month. We've just been in the hospital for three hours. <laughs> He's prepared. <laughs> Who am I? But do you feel bad right now? Do I feel bad? Yeah, there is a bit of difficulty breathing, not specific this moment, but it changes from time to time. There are better times and there are a lot worse. Wow. 
89, משהו כזה. וזה בלי משאף, אני מופתע. Today we may be specifically using medical technology to select embryos that will become healthy children. But tomorrow, are we going to be controlling for things like gender or eye color? Where does it stop? There are couples that, you know, really are very obsessive to have girls or boys, and then there is a special committee in Israel that approves or say no. More than 90% of the couples actually got the answer no. It's a civil committee. What we're considering there is not religious reasons. It's ethical reasons that we decided as a society in Israel. You don't want to enhance the discrimination between female and male. But I can't help but wonder how Amichai Italiander's family feels about how science could have changed their own lives. Even though Amichai is living a full life and is participating in everything uh, you know, that life has to offer, I would not want to bring another child into this world with that extra luggage. Kids here in Israel go to the army and often time, and when they come out, they, they're usually much stronger, more mature, better prepared for the future and so on and so forth. And then the question is raised, does that mean that the army is a good thing? Mm. Don't we rather not want to have an army? Mm. I don't believe so. I'd rather have an Israel that doesn't need an army. And so too for cystic fibrosis. I, I do have a different <laughs> opinion. <laughs> cystic fibrosis, it doesn't make him who he is, but it does, I think it has made him more determined, more focused, and he, yeah, he's amazing. Would you choose to have a baby without cystic fibrosis? Everyone has his own pickle in life, you know. If it's not cystic fibrosis, it may be depression or divorce or anything else. So you just let him do his thing up there. <laughs>